So I never really found myself too interested in making a video for the IPM1. And not because I generally dislike this vehicle. No, on the contrary, I actually like it quite a bit. The problem I had with this vehicle was that it wasn't a big improvement over the M1 Abrams. Sure, it has better composite layout so it can absorb more uh, heat rounds, but let's be honest, who really does use heat? Or so that thought used to be. Now, much has really changed with the IPM1 and overall, the overall, I guess, top tier meta. And I'll explain that in just a quick moment. So, with all that being said, here we are, the IP M1 Abrams. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this vehicle, it was introduced in 1.81, the Valkyries, making this vehicle nearly two years old. Yeah, it's not a long time for this vehicle, though it hasn't aged too well. And with some of the more changes uh, or the more recent changes that came about with this vehicle, especially for the top tier stuff, kind of made this vehicle a little bit less desirable but more at the same time if that makes sense i'll explain in just a second okay let's go ahead and just take a look at the stats really quick it is a battle rating 10.0 vehicle and i guess it sits there comfortably i don't really agree with it but that's just me uh it has a, a reload rate of 5.9 seconds with my current crew you can bring it down to five seconds which is very nice actually uh, a mass of 55.3 tons which is slightly heavier over the m1 abrams by about a ton or so but a little under a ton uh, has an engine power of 1519 horsepower at 3000 rpms propelling the vehicle up to 68 kilometers an hour and that is pretty much the norm at that point uh moving forward here with the abrams and it does have a visibility of 82 percent which is surprising as this is a pretty tall vehicle but it is what it is looking over at the arcade stats really quick it does have an engine power of 2533 horsepower at the same rpms bringing the vehicle up to 75 kilometers an hour that is hilariously fast to be honest it is very snappy in arcade do enjoy it there. Uh, same visibility, but outside of that. Some of the biggest changes that did happen to this vehicle recently actually was two big things. It did lose its stock M735 round and has since been replaced with, yeah, the heat round. I won't even go too far into this to be honest, but a, a 105 millimeter heat round at 10.0 yikes <laughs> and uh, at least the m735 is a tier one modification but it kind of begs the question do i go for the parts first or do i go for the shell type first at this point i mean of course you gotta go with the parts but it, it almost makes you want to get this first but the biggest improvement of this thing that kind of made it i guess a little worth it was the third shell type that was introduced uh the m833 round this is basically what the m774 used to be but is now the top high-end shell for an easy 600 silver lines a piece so take a look at the base stats really quick again this is a brand new shell in war thunder 10 uh, meters at zero degrees is 395 millimeter pen base pen excuse me guys i just woke up and uh, it's I had a long work weekend, okay, so bear with me here. Uh, 342 millimeter at thir uh, 30 degrees and 228 at 60, which is a big improvement over the M774, which is at the 30 and the 60, 309 and 206. So it does bring it up to spec for sure. Uh, does it make it a little bit more competitive in my opinion? Yeah, we'll definitely have to see in the gameplay for sure. But outside of that, nothing really new about this tank. Yes, it did get a thermal sight, Generation 1 thermal sight. Uh, it does not have a CITV. Same old, same old optics right here, as you'll see. Three times to ten times the set FOV of 24 to 7. And, of course, it is an Abram, so it has fantastic reverse speed going backwards at 36 kilometers an hour on the fourth gear. Uh, and everything you want to love about the Abrams is here. Blowout panels, the engine is separated from the crew. Uh, <clears throat> the fuel is separated from the crew as well. So, of course, this tank had survivability in mind. Although it is another Abram, so this thing isn't exactly hard to kill, especially at 10.0. Uh, but we'll see how well this thing plays in game. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and take it right out to some gameplay, shall we? No one to the right. No one ahead of me. Beautiful. Let's move. Take a left, I think. I think, yes, there is. Yes, gunner track. Oof, you're mine. No, 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 don't angle. Don't smoke out. There we go. Uh, he might be able to shoot still. Uh, excuse me. Come on. Oh, I, I mean, I guess that works. <laughs> Come on. 
Right here. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to save you, buddy. Yes, back it up. Oh, boy. No, we're good. There it is. There it is. Come here, buddy. Ooh, ooh. hold up. Oh, I had to get you instead. Backing up. Yikes. And a driver. I think there's more, though, there. I'm curious. Oh, I guess not. Oh, bad shot. Bad shot. Backing up. Ooh, keep going. There we go. Thank you. Oh, Leopard 2K doesn't see me, but I see him. Hey there. Excellent. Haha. <laughs> now that 2A4 is the only one we have to deal with right now. Left. Ugh. Hmm? Oh, there is definitely somebody on the other side of this wall. Not a friendly. I hear you. Yep, there you are. And oh, oh, he doesn't see me. Ooh, oh, oh, he got his gunner. Okay, we're good. Yep, he's screwed. Come here. And boop. <laughs> this is thinking fight T72s. I hear him. I hear somebody right here. There he is. Oh, this guy. There we go. Driver fuel tank. Yoink. Beautiful. Thanks for the yoink. Oh. Oh, what? I was like, I hear something. <laughs> it was obviously this guy. <laughs> I'm so blind. Ooh. I think he knows we're up here. One way to find out. Aha! <laughs> uh, you know what? This show actually feels a lot better, to be honest. Somewhat. There's somebody right over here. I hear him. There's his tracks. Yep. Gonna right behind him now. There we go. Engine radiator, but he messed me up. But we're good. We got him. This should be a pop. And boop. There we go. Beautiful. A few moments later. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yep, I heard that. Ah, sorry, I couldn't save you, buddy. See if I can get him. Yes, I can. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh, uh, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the call out. I heard him. There's somebody right there. Last kill. Yes. Thank you. And it's the guy who's not having a good day. Yikes. I'm sorry. Oh, snap. There we go. Driver. Uh, he still got his gunner up, though. Oh, boy. There it is. Ah, oh, he died, though. Excellent. I think front sounds like a wheelie boy of some sort. Oh, I hear him. There he is. Yep. I knew it. Awesome. Oh, man. There's a lot of hate over here. Excuse me. I oh, hear a tank behind me. Smoke out. Tank front. Come on. There he is. Beautiful, and of course I get bombed, but on the point, I'll take it. I hear what sounds like a, a gas turbine. It's got to be a T-80 of some sort. Oh, I see his tracks. There he is. What? I, I honestly think he wasn't here. Yeah, he had to have been AFK or something. Hold up, there we go, I saw his tick. Beautiful. And there's another to my left, I hear him. There he is, and boot to you too. <laughs> I think there might be another. Oh boy, 
There we go. Commander ammo. Oh boy. Nope. Bad shot. Boop. <laughs> uh, so we thought. Oh, I'm gonna die now. Yep, there it is. Come on, hurry up and just do it. This thing ain't hard to kill. Thank you. Oh, I hear him. Right in front of me. Boop. <laughs> didn't expect that, didn't you? Oh, I got a lot of hate up here. And he doesn't see me. Good thing, too. He's got a friend right there. He knows. He knows I'm here. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Maybe for him. <laughs> One more to my left here. I hear him? Copy, I'm on the way. There we go. Uh, yikes. That was a heat shell, too. This should do it. In a fuel tank. Beautiful. Go for the neck. Come on, come on, give me load it, load it before he gets his gunner back up. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, okay, he burnt out. Beautiful. Wheel vehicle coming in hot. There he is, yep. Oh, I'm boned. It's a good fight though. Ooh. I got his gunner track. He's not shooting back for a bit. Oh, there we go. Right there, right there. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh god, I'm gonna die! Oh no, we're good. Oof, that was terrifying. For some reason, he decided to fire a missile at me. Oh boy. Oh. Why? I mean, I can't really see him, but why'd you fire a missile? Can't see anything. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Ooh, there's two of them. Yep, hi. He's done. I got one. Oh. Uh, what's this guy doing? Surely he must have noticed me. Oh, boy. Backing up. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay. It does not sound like a TADU or anything, so he's got no thermal sight. There he is. Oh, yeah, he does. I'm dead. Yep. <laughs> So that concludes the gameplay bit of the IPM one. And now we've come to the part where I like to be brutally honest. So with that being said, the IPM one uh, sits at a very unusual battle rating in my opinion. Yes, it is a 10.0 vehicle and it does sit quite well there, though in a 10.7 environment, this thing really struggles. I mean, so do the uh, other M1s, the M1 Abrams, the M1A2. So it kind of begs the question, where does this vehicle kind of sit? It's slower than the M1 Abrams. Yes, it has the MA33 round, which does work quite well, though not nearly as well as the M774 used to be, uh, unfortunately, but it is a nice little uh, change up for this vehicle, kind of giving it its own unique thing, a brand new shell type never seen in War Thunder. Uh, but is it enough to justify going for this vehicle? In my honest opinion, no, it isn't. It's just you're really stuck between a lineup vehicle, which is what I would consider this, and a more efficient vehicle, such as the M1 Abrams here, which of course does not have ME33, but it really doesn't need it when you have good reload and high mobility. I mean, 72 kilometers an hour versus uh, 68, and those four extra kilometers an hour can mean the difference between surviving and being destroyed or performing poorly. So again, it's a very precarious vehicle. Would I honestly say go for this thing? Maybe it's part of a lineup. That's really it. Outside of that, as a frontline vehicle, not really, in my opinion. And let's bring up the fact that it now has heat FS stock. <laughs> it just, it's, it's, it's completely ridiculous how this thing, a uh, quote unquote top tier vehicle, has 
this heat fs stock this is what yeah excuse my chihuahuas in the background this is what you have to deal with 400 millimeter base pen of a heat round which will do absolutely nothing against those 10.7 tanks at all maybe sure maybe the uh the 120 millimeter of this i uh, will do just fine but not this one so again that, that kind of begs the question is it really worth all that extra effort for that me33 my opinion not really. But then again, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Maybe you guys have a different opinion. Maybe you have this vehicle. Maybe you will revisit it to give it another shot and see if it's absolutely worth having uh, and prove me wrong. I like to be proven wrong, guys, so help me out there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that honestly really does it. So if you guys happen to have enjoyed everything, you guys know that I do do live streams over on Twitch. If you guys want to see this kind of gameplay live, come hang out. It's really chill over there. People always come from the videos and tell me how calm and cool it is over there. And yeah, I, I curse a little too much. I'll admit that. But you know what? I, I save that just for the streams and not the videos. So just saying, okay. Uh, and yeah, that concludes that. So thanks again for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys uh, not only in uh, the streams or the videos, but as always in War Thunder itself. Until next time.